you're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg. You gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Oh. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, right, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? What are you waiting for? Hell yeah! That's the right call! Tweeg's a creep! You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Tweeg, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. It's all right, Jill. It's all so perfect. It's so perfect. Here we are, you and me, just like it was meant to be. Just like times. The time all right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian! That's right. 
Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way. And ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene! Look at me. Look at the and a dog. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck. I guess. Hope you find them. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. Ah, looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. We sell out early sometimes. Oh, you saw her away. I wasn't saying nothing. Hey, uh, hey, tough guy. We're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't know and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else or can I fucking go? How you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. hear about us, Bowser. May it fill your days with wonder. Good eye. That thing's a real beauty. Ah, pleasure doing business with you. Good eye. That thing's a real beauty. And I'm keeping it. So bye. Oh, you like that, huh? Come back soon. Do you want a power slide? Look 
to you. Hey, uh, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is, is this for him? Can he have it? Yeah, here, it's yours. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not going to let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Well, what do you know? Fuck it. That fucker's pretty good. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Hey, what's up, Lordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S-rank interrogation. I want to fuck you, okay? I'm thinking you're looking at me again, right? Are you? I can't tell. It is a TV show and I can't tell. I can't tell if you're looking at me. That's the hardest part of this fucking show. Next up, on look at me. Oh, look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just cause High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. Oh, it's you. Back to hurt my feelings again? Leave them alone! Hey, what's up, best friend? Don't wait in that crowd full of nerds! You head right on through! Shit, thank you! Hell yeah! Have you have you ever eaten your own poop? Cause you know it, it gets hard, it gets tough down. Well, okay, okay so we're looking for this I, new I'll high on life store. Oh yeah, these hey, hey, are a little yeah. more chill now that we took Again, out nine torg. To the broken leg guy. Hey, Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. for giblets. Well, the torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose with where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you. The bounty hunter's back. Everyone, get him! <laughs> Hey, let's use the glob shot. Oh, you're back. Do you need somebody to go with you?
It's so nice to be back in your hands again. It feels really good to be here. You really have nice and warm hands. place. possibly can.
here? What's wrong with you? here to this place it's, it just feels weird
All right, that, that, that's got to be the high on life store. You know, sometimes it's nice to just fly around, you know? Who cares? Don't worry, detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. I need the new hyperbar. More like local hyperbong superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick. Uh, I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, that makes sense, right? That doesn't sound okay. I'm I'm new here. Me? Oh no no no! I'm uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was a uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me probably. Oh, oh no, it's okay. I guess uh, it's the big Hyperbond Six Midnight Lunch, and we literally just opened. So uh, I only been here for like half an hour, and honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because. Like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Oh, I'm so excited you asked! A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator! High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that! I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbomb? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. High on life help you today. Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell hyperbongs and hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about. High on life hyperbongs are the only way to get that fix. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up-and-coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard-earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Club Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? These are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. You're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right. It's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. 
Oh man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now. And you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit. Not, not so good. It looks like we uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals? Shouldn't have been friends with him, really. Not really a good idea. Don't know really why I liked him so much. He dragged me to this midnight launch. I don't even care about hyperbongs. But he made me come here and now he's dead. <laughs> Boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful, and, and they're the only way out of here, well, you know? Hey, sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than David Glutes ever did. Look at you!
Give birth whenever. God, I'm glad we got this jetpack. again. How are you? They're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job, says you're already helping him, says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we that's what we want to do, you know? But it's uh, just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, 
even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah! Alright, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck- Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Plug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. This is where our dad works. He's a really hard worker. Someday all this will be ours. But not soon. He should only live and be well. You're doing great work. I caught one of those human movies recently. The Godfather. Holy moly, Stromboli, that movie was good. Bam, boom! Francis Ford Coppola, he's back, baby! How about this office, huh? This is where our dad works. Someday it'll be where we work. Well, that's not how politics works, but you get the idea. Magistrate Club came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. At night, when the mask is off, I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I can't hide the truth of myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting, acting, acting. <laughs> okay, Aunt Pam. I just thought maybe my mom and dad would be with you. sort of weird way over here. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. At first we were scared. How did we end up here? Where were we? Should we leave our highway? And it turns out the answers in order as I asked them were, I don't know, I don't know, and definitely not. It is true, we used to hate each other, honking and shouting, fuck you, back and forth, like animals, but now we have found community and love. Woo! 
easy or is that a warp bait? Remember, both could be true. You gotta be with my friends. Let's fuck shit up! Hey! What are we gonna get up to?
chance. for help. I, I'm, I'm really hurt. I'm like bad. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. Hey, come back. I'm losing. That's fate right there. Uh huh. I feel good about this. Hey, hey, thanks for coming back. Are you really dying? You, you, you sound fine now. <laughs> No, 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 oh, oh, I'm dying, no, I'm actually, oh, not uh, for real this time, though, oh, my God, oh, stay, don't go anywhere, stay with me, thank you, oh, here, here I go, oh, my God, oh, oh. all right, shit, I, I, I guess that's it, then. You left me again. I'm, I'm not dead yet, asshole. If you leave me again, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill myself. I thought you were already dying. Oh, whoops, whoops. Never, never mind. I, 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 I'm really, I'm really dying now. Now this, oh, for real. This, but this time is the real one. Oh, good, good. I can feel it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this really hurts. Good, good, good. Bye. Oh, oh. Okay, this time it's gotta be real. Let, 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 let's just get out of here. It's, it's just, you, you had to do it. You, you had to put him out of his misery. It was like a really annoying horse with a broken leg. You, you know? It, it, do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives, because we need a good mystery to solve. Now go scan stuff. Someone was killing G3 Mercs. You know what, that makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you, that's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for. That's what drones are for, they're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone.
Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Huh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right then, let's, let's keep moving. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got this, pseudo! Could get the- Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. The old Hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Queer, look at all these drone heads! Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did, too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! an idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do, so okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. A Gatlian, a regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case! Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets!
I think that's Dr. Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me add him. Giblet status report. No life cells detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello! If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution for beyond the grave! I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Everyone called me crazy. I'm dead and you're trapped in here. Falling prey to my glorious science. I'm so jealous of. That's right, Primothy. I know you. My lad, but just a plain old space son, Crimothy. Yes. Yes, I was wrong. How could I have been so blind? I know who killed me now. It was you, Chris. Oh, was it Krubus who killed him? Jake, yes. These are fun audio recordings. Krubus, Krubus, Krubus. Always complaining about being the lowest one on the G3 ladder. You thought you could kill me and take my spot at the top, didn't you? Think again, because... Well, you did kill me, actually, but... back! How appropriate, Krubus, that after all those years stuck behind mountains of paperwork, you finally got to get your hands dirty again, just like you wanted. I really am proud of you, but you picked the wrong... Strike back against our leader by 
killing his prize scientist. Me! That would certainly hurt his feelings. But it was a mistake to think you could just walk out of here alive! Here comes some more guys! My big idea is to kill them like the up the I remember up that. Years. So you have ideas that are I'm the last one. Brothers, it was really hot. I even took photographs. Perhaps that's why you killed me. To get back those photographs. Right, you know, I bring you the shoes to boost them all over the internet. The second my heart stopped beating. But don't worry, they're really hot. So everyone will think it's cool. Douglas, how does it feel having the very troops you train train against you? Attempting to in command. Forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. <laughs> we made it. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? <laughs> That's a t-shirt. Let's get out of here while the getting's good. 
We can get back out through the trap door. Really nice to see you again, partner. You be hiding from me? As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians. But now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however, humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? Is he even alive? You know what? Let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. to say you know today, today really meant a lot to me and um uh god uh, this is so fucking hard um your free trial of detective mode is up so see you later bye oh thank god okay bounty hunter you go through the menus you find that detective mode you shut it the fuck off never again okay i'm serious delete it J delete it and if we if you can't do it we, we, we go we go to you know we it's a whole mission it'll be a whole dlc mission every last peso we've ever earned we pay whoever it is to delete this fucking detective mode bullshit. You know, a whole DLC story about it that, that we'll charge $45 for and it'll only be like an hour of content because fuck you, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do that. We're not going to do that.